Netflix has a habit of giving movies a second life, and that's happening with a 2021 horror release that made a disappointing $77 million at the box office but is finding success on the platform, a positive sign for the film's upcoming sequel. Many box office flops have become massive streaming hits after arriving on Netflix, and the streamer has rejuvenated interest in several forgotten TV shows as well. That's one of the benefits of bringing a piece of content to a wider audience following its theatrical or cable run. It gets another shot at snagging their attention, and oftentimes, it succeeds. This is happening with the most recent installment in a beloved horror franchise, which saw disappointing returns when it initially hit theaters. The movie's Netflix success suggests that viewer interest remains strong, and other circumstances may have been responsible for its drop in earnings. That's good news, as another sequel has already been confirmed. The Forever Purge is seeing success on Netflix, despite having the lowest earnings. The Forever Purge has made its way onto Netflix, and the latest sequel in the Purge franchise is seeing success on the streaming platform despite a disappointing theatrical run. The fifth Purge movie grossed the lowest at the worldwide box office of the entire series, bringing in just under $77 million, via the numbers. This wouldn't be disappointing for every film. However, with previous installments grossing more than $100 million apiece, this sequel marked a drop in earnings for the horror franchise. Of course, its 2021 release date likely played a role, as the COVID-19 pandemic was heavily impacting movie theaters at the time. With that in mind, the Netflix success of The Forever Purge isn't all that surprising. The fact that the film landed in Netflix's top 10 most viewed English language movies proves that its earnings aren't indicative of overall interest in the franchise. With plenty of people hitting play on the streamer, it seems the interest in the Purge series is alive and well. The sequel's Netflix success proves there's still interest in the franchise. A Purger rides a horse in the Forever Purge. The Forever Purge's performance on Netflix proves that extenuating circumstances likely contributed to its disappointing box office run. It's either that or the movie is being viewed in a new light several years after its release. Given the pandemic's effects on the box office, which can still be felt to a lesser degree today, it's probably the former. The Forever Purge still did fairly well given the climate, though it failed to break the top 50 highest-grossing movies of 2021 via Box Office Mojo and trailed behind several other horror hits, including A Quiet Place Part 2 and The Conjuring, The Devil Made Me Do It. Still, if the most recent Purge movie is finding a second life on Netflix, it's probably safe to say that moviegoers are still interested in stories set in this world. Prior to the Forever Purge's release, previous installments had seen a steady increase in box office earnings, with the first Purge reaching a series high of $137 million. Such considerations bode well for The Purge 6, which is reportedly moving forward and could restore the franchise to its former glory. Why the Forever Purge's streaming comeback bodes well for The Purge 6 A composite image of various villains from The Purge movies the Forever Purge's box office decline didn't deter Blumhouse from moving forward with the franchise, as The Purge 6 was still planned following the 2021 film's release. The sequel seems to be in limbo, but Jason Blum himself confirmed it's happening in October 2023, and The Forever Purge's Netflix performance indicates that's for the best. With more viewers checking out the previous film, there's a good chance The Purge 6 will pull people back into theaters. And while there's no indication of what the sequel's theme will be, the fifth movie suggested the purge period could extend beyond the established 12 hours. Whatever route the horror franchise takes, the Purge SIXS theatrical performance will serve as an indicator of the series' health. Given the external circumstances surrounding its release, the Forever Purge can't be used as a barometer for viewer interest. And the movie's Netflix run would muddy the water anyway, as it contradicts the decreasing box office performance, suggesting a sequel is needed to determine where the series goes from here.